All right, so in this video, we're going to talk about adding uh, fractions with unlike denominators. And unlike adding fractions with like denominators, such as uh, this problem here, you can see that we are dealing in sevenths, which makes it quite easy. Because then all we do is add the numerators, check to see if we need to reduce, and we're done. So uh, if we've got 3 eighths plus 1 eighth, We've got eights here, eights here. We're going to add the numerators for eights. We ask ourselves, does it need reduced? Yes, it does. Four and eight uh, can be, four eights can be reduced to one half. Now, when we're dealing with fractions that have unlike denominators, we've got to find the least common denominator, which is what we've been working on in class. So, for example, if we take three fifths plus two-thirds, what we've got to find is because we can't add fifths and thirds together, that's like adding apples and oranges. And so what we've got to do is we've got to find equivalent fractions for both three-fifths and two-thirds that have the same denominators. And so what we ask ourselves is what's the smallest number that both five and three go in easily to? So in our head, we start working up a multiples list four, three, and five, and we wait and see until we come to a number that is common. So the least common denominator, the LCD for both three and five is 15. Now, just like we've been working on with anything else, whatever you do to the top, you have to do to the bottom. So you ask yourself, how did I go from five to 15? Well, we multiply times 3, which means that we have to do the top times 3. So 3 times 3 is 9 fifteenths. And you ask yourself, how did I go from 3 to 15? 3 times 5. So we have to do the top times 5. And we end up with 10 fifteenths plus 9 fifteenths. Now we do what we did uh, when we had like denominators because we do. We got fifteenths. And so we add 19 15. So we added 9 plus 10. We are in 15th. That doesn't change. Do not add the denominators. 19 15 equals 1. 15 goes into 19 one time. 4 left over, and we're in 15th. So does not need reduced. There's your answer. Let's do another one. So let's say I've got 4 sevenths plus 2 thirds. Cannot add four, uh, we can't add sevenths and thirds, and so we need to find equivalent fractions to these. So, what we do in our head is we run a multiples list 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 7, 14, 21, bingo. Okay. Now, I know that you're saying to yourself, well, why don't you just multiply these two numbers together? That will give you the LCD. Well, sometime that's true, uh, so that's true but not, not always. Um, so we got 7. We're going to go to 21 and 21 because that's the least common denominator. That's the D. So how do we go from 7 to 21? We go times 3. So whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top. 4 times 3. How do we go from 3 to 21? We go times 7. So we have to do times 7 on the top. 14, 26 over 21. Went off the page there. And now we've got to convert this to an improper fraction. This improper fraction into a mixed number. 21 goes into 26 one time. 5 left over. And we are in 21st. We check to see if it can be reduced. And this cannot. And so that we know we are done. Now let's take a look at one where we don't just multiply the two denominators to get the LCD so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, if we go 5 sixths plus 2 thirds. Now we could multiply 6 times 3 and use 18 and that's fine. It would just lead to more reducing. But the least common denominator in this case is in fact, 6. And so we don't get the LCD by multiplying um, the two denominators together. So how do we go from 6 to 6 times 1? So we go times 1 on the top. How do we go from 3 to 6 times 2? So we do the top times 2, 4. We get 9 sixths. We need to uh, 
convert this into a mixed number. So 6 goes into 9 one time with 3 left over. And we're in sixths. We check to see if it can be reduced, and it can. So 1 and 1 half. We reduced 3, 6 equals 1 half. And that's how we got our 1 half. So that's adding fractions with unlike denominators.